Hello everyone, Vasive here. Welcome to, I believe today's Tuesday stream. I forget what day it is now. It's been that way for the last couple of years. But we're going to be playing some more Spirit Fair, as you can see. Um, I was going to go get the, catch some snow crab, because I think they're kind of annoying to find. Um, and I, literally, as you can see, I was on my way to go find them, and Jackie started paging me. And it freaked me out, because I was... <laughs> I was not in the game focus and my controller started vibrating on my lap which made me jump yeah what the hell i told you do not talk with yeah i don't care about you and why you give her an inst instrument what the hell is your problem get your ass here sap yeah fuck off you're a jerk. I don't like you. Stepping on people's potential happiness. Heck out of here. All right. So if I understand correctly, snow crabs are over here. I hope. Oops. All right. All the stuff I can harvest. All right. Where? Okay, it said this area, so hopefully we'll find it. Snow crab, I need you. Also, I think uh, Bucks. Whoa, quest. Damn it. Is uh. The one that wants the boot and stuff. I think he's gonna make something out of it. We zoom. <gasps> Am I gonna get my super speedy boat? Okay. Thanks, bottle. Give me the crabs, please. Maybe I should go check Buck's thing. Didn't I do it at the end of stream yesterday? I forget. We got his squeed. A squeed. Oh boy, we got a fighter. Uh oh, maybe there's no crabs here. Maybe I went too far. I said it was by Hummingbird. But I also had winter in the Prince for some reason. And as far as I knew, there was no weather or there was no seasons in this game. So that kind of threw me off. So I went to Hummingbird and then I just went to the, the ice shelf. Yeah, I don't think it's here. All right, let's go back. East way. Actually, while that's moving, let's just double check, shall we? Actually, it freezes the game when that happens, which is a bummer. Uh, Spirit Bearer. Snow crab location. Yep, it says Hummingbird winter, winter region. That doesn't make sense. I need to find. Come on, Reddit. I need to find snow crab. They're found by fishing mostly anywhere within the icy area. Son of a bitch. That's undo. I'm in the icy area. Is it just a low chance? Let's check Buck's thing real quick. Hell yeah, dude. Get bonked. 
No, fall down. Are you serious? Need him. Got one. There's one. Got him. Got three. Shit. Four. Five. I think that was enough. Uh oh. I'm not gonna be able to get him. Shit. Oh, there's one. Get him. Got him. Oh, God. All right, hold up. How come it, it seems quicker sometimes? Sick. I think I can get my upgrade. Which would be pretty heckin' dope. Making a big jade. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. The red, I swear, lasts longer. <gasps> yes, we got one. The snow crabs be a fighting. They be crabby. The game is so nice and calming. Oh, you're not a crab. Mr. Simon. be a crab, right? Yes! One more! And I don't remember how to make the things that the one quest needs. I, do, I know I need a boot and I need some questionable meal. And oh, hell yeah. And I think the questionable meal is just mixing weird stuff together. I think also I needed glue. So we're going to mix uh, one glue and a muscle. Sick. Let's go um, see if I can upgrade my boat. That'd be pretty heckin' dope. All the way down there. All right, there's one there. There's one closer. What's up? <laughs> He's so snorry. All right, let's get the eggs. Always full on eggs. Yeah, heck. We got time. We'll do some harvesting. Nice. And let's do some more rice. I'm coming, friend. Hold on. Feels like there's something in my ear. It keeps moving. It's freaking me out. here all right we come over here Let's see if i can get an upgrade that'd be sick i need to sneeze stupid allergies kick it in full force Ooh. oh it left how rude Also, was there another upgrade here? It was new.
I heard my food get done. What did we make? There you go. Come here, Daffodil. We're gonna make our say hi to our shirt friend. Whoa. Oh, that sneeze is just hanging on. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, oh. I wasn't a friend who cut his own toe. You didn't know what made a rubber. You did that last time. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought I was done. Are you serious? Well, damn it. That's annoying. Damn it. I thought I was done. Did I not save last time? All right. All right. Well, where's Francis? There he is. Go talk to him. He'll sell me stuff. Just burning through all our stuff here. Although, we have a crap ton of celery still. Did not need to buy that many. But it's fine. All right. Francisca. What do you want? You want old shoe. Okay, I'm gonna buy a shoe from you. Hell yeah. And burnt food. Okay, let's go. Let's go start a burnt food. Can I just do like a coffee and just leave it sit there for a long time? Because coffee's quick, right? What if I just do that? Let's let it get burnt. Yes. It's done. Project? Oh, I gotta I gotta do some projector stuff. Hold on. Let's go do that. Wait a minute. I just looted these eggs. Oh, hi. Good morning. Project. Aha. Secret diving treasure. All right. Well, let's just get added to my inventory because that'd be nice. Complete. Proper errand. Talk to Buck. All right, he's sleeping. All right, we won't wake him up. That's rude. Yeah, I know you're dinging. But you must get burnt. I don't know how long it takes to make burnt food, but in my experience, all but 30 seconds. Might as well just... Go do our stuff around the boat. And to the sheepies. They're probably hungry. Holy crap. I don't think I fed them at all after like the first hour. Oh, they're fine. Okay. Maybe they only. Their hunger goes up. The more they produce wool, maybe. Because it was the same thing with the cows. They were... They were not getting hungry. How do I know if the food's burnt? Alright, there was two bells. Cozies. 
want to get milked? Good cow. Good cow. <laughs> Buck's just sleeping away up there. Milks. All right, there was three dings after the initial one. Hopefully, this will be long enough, considering its cook time was really short, and it, I think it's making popcorn, so it should like burn super fast. All right. Well, you need to cook faster. Oh, where's Beverly? Oh, she's sleeping. <laughs> Loot this, I guess. I don't need that for a while. That would be a problem. All right, one ring. All right, let's go talk to... Oh, it's fine. We'll go talk to you later. Go to the bus stop. Go talk to jerk face Magoo. Let's see what he's up about. Oh, you guys want some water? Two dings. He should be asking for water any second. I remember it for once. Travel this way. Wait, no, 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 no. I remembered. Oh, I suppose we could go do Bev's quest that she has too. I forgot she gave us one. Ah. Buck wants to say something. Riddle. I bet you won't. I bet you won't figure it out. I know where to look, but I've taken an oath. The looter's oath, which states never talk about looting with another looter. You're on your own on this one, Stella. But Buck's the one who's taken that oath. Let me find that. Find the voice. One second. Arg! Oh, hey there, matey. Old Johnny Silverleg is right here by me maiden's side. Hoist in the mainsail. As an unbuckle. As an humble buccaneer, I can ne'er disobey me captain. These crow's ends, ink treasures are an old corsair's dream. If you're ever needed, I can offer up ink cartography knowledge. Come see me if you feel lost in these seas. Arr! Good luck, captain. I love him. He is a treat. Wee. All right. Travel to not you, you. All right, that thing's dinging away. It better be burnt by now. Will I get a different symbol or something if it is burnt? There you go. Where's Bev? Are you hungry? You should be hungry. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Wait, time out. No, come back. Stop jumping. No. Shit. I, I knew this for you earlier. I should keep you nice and warm if the weather ever takes a turn for the worst. Thank you. I'm gonna give you some... You some berry pie? Thank you. Oh. Not too partial. 
Either way. <gasps> I forgot to go give Buck a hug. Buck! Where are you? Hey! Also, I gotta give you some foodies. How about some... Veggie pot pie. Mother Chan's is suddenly on my side. Commander, this old-fashioned meal is incredibly delicious. Delicious, I say. Oh yeah, dude. Um, hugs for you. I thought he liked pub food and stuff like pizza. Yeah, I'll take some corn dog, toffee. Thanks, bro. Alright. Let's go talk to the jerk. Yeah, I know you mad. I don't care that you mad, though. Wee! Oh, snap. Oh, everyone's confronting him? Hell yeah. What the shit are all y'all looking at, huh? I didn't do nothing wrong, alright? It was that gosh darn psycho nutcase up there. She just lashed out at me. She's a lunatic. I've said it for years. I think this is, I did his voice wrong. We should just pump her. We should just pump her full of pills. And no, that's not it. We should just pump her full of pills and be done with it. I don't know what his voice was. I forgot it. No answer, huh? That's what I thought. Bunch of freaking losers. Or what? Oh, you're here. Final freaking Lee. What took you so long? You're... I think that's it. Are you checking out the birds and the pretty clouds on the way here? Well, I could have just used your help for once. Oh, you want to know what happened, don't you? I'll tell you what happened. You happened! I told you that she was unstable. I told you that she needed to be left alone. But no, you couldn't leave it to the professionals. Little Miss Perfect has her sticker nose in everyone's business. She was already crazy to begin with, and then you give her that psycho an instrument. Made with glass and sharp steel! Are you out of your goddamn mind? So yeah, I go in and I try to take it from her and then, and then, whatever. This job is not about you, Stella. It's not about feeling good. It's about safety. It's about keeping us safe from those morons. And keeping them safe from themselves. What? Calm down. You calm down. I swear this freaking place, I can't take it anymore. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I won't take it anymore. Because I quit. <laughs> As he brushes his hair. Ah, you can all go to hell. And, and you, have fun taking care of these idiots. So long, shit stain, and don't bother calling. I won't answer. Get the fuck out of here. You know what happened? I just saw a crowd. I thought there was a fight. I heard of all of that. That orderly Jackie. He's always been a loose cannon, but he's gone too far this time. Things are pretty bad around here. He's the worst thing to happen to Overbrook since mandatory nighttime slop. I can't believe what he did to Daria. She's usually so quiet. She keeps to herself. She only had one thing, her music, and well... She fought to protect it. What a miss. This place is really falling on some hard times. You're lucky I couldn't feed you that slop. We need better living conditions. Absolutely. We need fresh meals. We need proper medical care. We are here to be cured, not forgotten or real treated. I'm not wait waiting on the staff, not even on management. I'm taking matters in my own hands, but I'm going to need some help. Possibly by someone with a boat and people skills. <laughs> what do you say? You don't need to answer. I just know you're already in. All right, let's start. Here's a list of potential candidates. You'll need to help find capable people. You can't have the situation happening again. I'm counting on you. Hell yeah. Get that fucker out of here. Daria! Can I get, not get out of this area? There it is. Door, right. Hello? Can I play the music? You okay? Oh, here you go. Recruit a chef for Overbrook. Oh. Oh. Hoseki Quarry, South Point Docks, 
Villa. All right, writing those down, so I don't have to keep looking. Hasaki Quarry. Hasaki Quarry. South Point Docks. I'm, although I'm writing more, taking more time writing this down. Villa Magyar. Magyar. No idea how, how to pronounce it. What are we doing it? We. Oh, so close. All right, the bell's ringing. Let's go find... I don't know if it's burnt yet. We're going to wait a while. To make sure it's super burnt. That's the plan. Thanks. Uh, we'll do some more sunflowers. Ran into something. Oh, he's not here yet. There he is. Bloop. I just had, like, double hiccup right in succession. That was weird. Okay, didn't mean to do that. It's fine. I'm going to plant one of these. I forget what it does. All right, Busta. We are going... Pesky Quarry... I wonder if the map actually got bigger. All right, let's go there. Because someone is there. All right, let's check the buck. This thing is ready to go as well. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, wait, it was you. Damn it. I mean, I love you, Buck, but damn it. All right, we go up there. Who exactly are we looking for? A gardener. Is it going to be the guy that doesn't like me chopping down stuff? All right, is this burnt yet? Better be heckin' burnt. Fuck, dude! Alright, I'm googling it. Spirit, fair, burnt food. How the hell do you get burnt food? Oh, wait, do I put it in the incinerator? 36 in-game hours? Are you kidding me? Okay, it does have a notification. Fiery black smoke. Okay. So it doesn't have a limitation based on what you put in it. It's just literally a time thing, which is kind of a bummer. It's popcorn. It burns super easily. All right, did I? I did. Okay. All right, we're looking for Godna. Let's go find a friend, Daffodil. Me and you. Oh, wait, this is Gwen's place. Is it not? Uh, hey, Bev. What the fuck? Is it so relaxing? I can sit here for hours. What the, what the hell are you doing here? What's down here? Oh. Okay. This looks like it was the shape of a llama. <laughs> and it has not been tended.
I'm not seeing anyone. Aha! Cookie time. What's up, Yuri? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, them cookies. Oh, no cookies. Didn't even respond. You're back. It's been a minute. Oh. Me? No, I've been fine. Not lonely at all. Oh. Just fine. I got this little shack. My things are in there. My toothbrush. My dry oh. socks. I've got it going on. Yes. My life is pretty great. Oh. It's good. You keep chucking up on me. I'm totally fine. Been fine for a while now. Nothing seems fine like living out here. Next to an empty mansion. Sleeping in this tiny oh. shack. No running water. No electricity. Hearing the squirrels having fun at oh. night. It's the best. Okay, I give up. I'm lonely. So very lonely. I hate being by myself. No one listens to my jokes. Knock, knock. Who's there? No one. It's terrible. You gotta help me out. I might start knitting at any time. You got to find me a better job than this. I need a better roof than this one. What's up, Sarah? <laughs> Almost said Yuri Sarah. Oh, that one she responds to. How you guys doing? I can see the stars, but birds can also watch me sleeping. Join the boat. I see. That's interesting. Oh. I've never heard of Overbrook. And it comes with free room and board? Mm hmm. Well, I can't say no to that. I've already spilled the beans on being miserable and lonely. Coincidentally, I also spilled beans on my sleeping bag, so the timing couldn't be more perfect. You got me. I need to start being less honest. Okay, I'll go. Let me pack my things and say goodbye to my woodland friends. I'll meet you over at Overbrook. Hell yeah, dude. Progress. What the hell was Beverly doing there, dude? Uh, South Point Docks and Husky Quarry. South Point Docks. All right, we're gonna head this way. And then... Loonberg. Aha! That's good query. Oh. Alright, that's fine. Friend! You guys doing anything new, crazy, exciting lately? Clap, clap. <sighs> yeah. Alright, just don't check the food until the smoke is billowing in black. Husky Quarry, we're coming. Oh, things need watered. Also, we can check Buck's thing, I suppose. So I need to think of something for uh, 48 month subs. Uh, oh, sh back. speaking of well, your steadfast loyalty <laughs> greatly appreciated. Woot. Woot. Thank you so much for the 21 months, you beautiful bean. Get them cookies. Get them cookies. Say, take a photo cookies. Nom, 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 nom. I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you so much for the 21 months. Get so close to the 24. Also, as I was saying, also there's. Oh wait, you guys can't see in the screen, but that that alert, there's a comma there. There's supposed to be an 18 at uh, between the 24 or the 12 and the 24. Whoops! I gotta fix that. <gasps> yes. Oh please, let us be over with this. I needed four more. Four more. There's one. One. Oh shit, you get priority. <gasps> no! Why can't I do it? What the fuck? Oh, because I jumped. God damn it. I would have got two right there. Two. God damn it. That sucks. Three. Come on. Come on. No, oh, fuck. God damn it. Are you serious, game? Just gonna screw me. The game is just gonna do. No! Alright, we're waiting. We're waiting. There's three right here. Oh. Four. 
Okay, I got four. Thank God. I would have panicked. No, I was panicking. I would have screamed. Thank you, gobble boys. Man, so many of them popped up on this one, too. There's two right there. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't care about you normies. I need the shinies. I need the shinies. Cool, we're done. I can upgrade my boat. Excitement. Did we make it there already? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh yeah, what was I saying? Um, the 48 months, I'm thinking, I need to think of something to do. Um. No idea. Oh, snap. Uh, we need a chef. There's a chef here. Wonder if we can do like a Dixper loot bomb or something. That could be fun. My God, I'm gonna have to find this guy. This sucks. I'll have to loot these because my brain is telling me to. Did you ever play this game, Videl? I feel like you would like this game. Oh, is it you? Back to work, I suppose. Not you. Maybe it is. There it is. You've never played this? Oh, I think you would love it. This day is going to be a long one. Wait, let me talk to you. Son of a bitch. Is it not you? Or are you just being sneaky? Were you just saying it's going to be a long one because I keep bothering you? Wait, I don't need slate. All right, he doesn't want to talk to me. Is this aluminum? I'll take some of that. Nope. All right, I need people. I'm looking for a chef, please and thank you. There's a bunch of mushrooms down here. Oh, snap. I forgot. Thinking double jump thing right here. Yeah, why didn't you grab that? Why aren't you grabbing that? It's fucking weird. That'll work. Oh, because you're not gravels. Okay. Well, this way more, I guess. Friends. Oh, oh, I've been working in this mine since before I was born. My mom worked here. My dad worked here. My granddad. Well, you'll get it. I don't know if I could ever leave. They work at the Overbrook Hospital in the kitchen. Mm -hmm, I see. Cooking is like hitting rocks. Are you sure? <laughs> Those two sound, things sound very different. You do make a compelling argument. You sure have a way with words and that voice. Well, I'm sold on the idea. And I'm sure all the other workers will be too. Double is, we can't just up and leave. We need people to cover our posts. Wait. Wait. I've got it. Wait. Nope. I just lost it. Wait. No, wait. Wait, I got it. What if people, instead of people, we use dummies? We just need to dress up scarecrows filled with hay and stuff in, in our work clothes. They'll look like regular employees, but they won't move. I'm sure the Raccoon Inc. Mining Co. won't know the difference. 
Plus, as an added benefit, dummies don't need to eat. Fewer lunch breaks, more productivity. It's a win-win situation. They won't talk back either. They'll be the perfect employees. We just need to find some material to stuff into those dummies. So, we should go out and get everything. Some wood linen and a couple carrots. Oh, shit. Yeah, that could work. Oh, yeah. This is totally a great plan. I can't wait to start hitting food and making real culinary art. Come back when you have all the materials. So, good job. You've got it all. Fuck yeah. I'll get everyone together and we'll make the dummies. We'll make them look real. Raccoon Inc. Mining Co. won't be able to tell the difference. When they realize that all the mining operations have stopped, it will be all too late. We'll be free and ready to make some nice cannoli. Thanks for this new exciting career opportunity. See you in the kitchen at Overbrook. Okay. All right, making progress. All right, next one was South Point Docks. Where's that gonna be? All right, we might as well start making our way. Wait, wasn't the South Point Docks the place with the shipping containers? Sandwich Walk. I think I needed to go to Ambertown too, right? There you go. Aw, oh, crap. There's no thing close by? That sucks. All right, do I need to go to Ambertown? If so. Nope. Old Central District. Well, that sucks. Oh, we'll go upgrade my, my ship first. That's what we'll do. Oh, you can just grow those. Go upgrade my boat. That's what we're gonna do. Get that mighty speed. Hey, friend. <laughs> Clippity clap, 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 clap. Mr. Man. Gonna get our upgraded boat. Better have enough XP potions. I'll be upset spaghetti. All right, is this burning yet? Nope. It is not. I harvest my trees. Yeah, you, I think you'd really enjoy this game, Videl. Just, you know, have your mom sign the permission slip for the fields trip. Because it do be happening. And they recently, uh, they added three more characters that you can interact with, so. That's always fun. And I think, if I understood correctly, that's as far as they were going to go. Or was it a friend? Yeah, you keep telling me the same joke, bro. You feel bugged. Why can't I buy this? I already have it. Are you kidding? I already have it, guys. It said I had more things to upgrade. It lied to me. God damn it. Are you serious? 
Maybe. Mm. It lied to me. It said there was more upgrades for my boat. It lied to me. Man. All that time. All that time for nothing, dude. Fine. 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 Hey, buddy. You want some food? Do you want some... Vegetable stir-fry? Yum. A hug? Yeah. All right, where's Beverly? Thought I heard her. Bugs are glowing in there. Beverly, the fuck are you? You're in here. Yeah, I know you're hungry. That's why I'm coming to feed you. Do you want some... Peach cobbler? I think I just keep feeding her sweets on accident. Ooh, lightning storm. Unfortunately, I don't need to do lightning storm. I said, I pushed right and it didn't let me. That's annoying. Blam. 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 Oh, we'll, we'll just get some lightnings. Blam. Did you just get zapped? Daffodil, you okay? gets harder fucking I couldn't grab that for some reason it's harder when you have a big ass boat why stand on the ground Stella Landing in the bottle, baby. What? That should have counted. The lightning blasts everywhere. Missed. Are we done now? Cool. Huzzah! Ooh, some flowers are done. You're Stella. I don't care about you. Dari has recently requested that you... Oh, these are not him. Visit at your earliest convenience. Regards. Overbrook's character. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go say hi to Daria. I like her. She's kind of a sweet pea. Let's grow some tomatoes. Tomatoes. Is my thing burnt yet? Nope. Chickens are done. Thank you, chickens. Perfect timing. All right. Now we find the last person, whoever it is. Would it be you? Ah, 
I'm a bit busy right now, miss. One of my guys has his hands cut off yesterday. Yeah, I know. There's quite a bit of paperwork. If Mike wants his hospital bills paid, he needs to sign this thing from the corporate office. It's pretty boilerplate legal oh. stuff. Saying Mike won't sue if he pay if we if they pay his medical bills. That's fucked up. Anyways, the doctors are reattaching his hand right now, so he'll be able to sign it soon enough. I know. Apparently, doctors can do that. What was the name of his doc his doctor again? I don't remember his name, but I know where he lives. Oh. Why? Because he kept saying it over and over. He was very proud of his penthouse in Old Central District. Oh. oh, I need to go back there. It was weird. I was in the operating room. As representative of the company, the doctor kept talking about his hot tub and his million dollar watch. Whoa, I don't remember the lights kicking on here. Oh. Reminding us that he was the best doctor in the whole wide world. All of that while I'm reattaching Mike's two hands. It was pretty wild. I was just thinking, can you stop ta talking and concentrating on reattaching my buddy's hands? Anyway, Mike's gonna be okay. He'll be back at work soon. The company only offers five sick days a year, and he already took a couple to take care of his daughter. Hands or no hands, Mike will be in tomorrow. Hmm. And I guess the doctor will be in the penthouse, old central district. What an odd world. Fuck. Alright, well. I need to go there for Beverly's quest anyway. Old central district, eh? Where's that? Right there, hell yeah. Turn food, because Francis is right here. That'd be sick. food damn it fine game oops shit i am so sorry please don't wake up oh thank god I would have felt very bad. I can't wait to see the set. There will be another turning point in my career. Hey. That's talking more walking. I'm assuming the doctor will have a, a speech bubble. Is it you? Nope, not you. It could be. But let's just check the ground level first. Okay. I've checked it. Alright, time to bounce. I could get up there. Oh, there we go. Aha! Is it you? Nope. Someone just went in here and heard it. Is it you? Wait! What? You're looking for a doctor? Well, look no further. You found him. You found me! I'm a world-renowned hand surgeon. I've been on talk shows. I've been on rec... rec <laughs> I've been recognized in models. I own a 600-gallon hot tub. Always tropical. And ready for when this doctor comes home. After a hard day of doing what surgeons do, I need to relax my hands in warm, bubbling water. That is the life of this prestigious doctor. I'm known for my impeccable surgery skills and for being punctual. I'm always on time because of this watch. It cost me so much money, I don't want to say. It's encrusted with rare diamonds. It's triple retrograde to a billion. What? Well, I can see I lost you there. 
I bought it as a gift for myself after my fourth marriage. Now, back to you. You need a doctor? For Overbrook? I thought that place closed down. And it's so far away. Why would I ever work in a place like that? For money? I do it for more money. No one ever says no to more money. I just love buying myself new things. When I'm not at work, I shower myself with expensive gifts. Such is my nature. I should consider it for, um... 10,000 glims up front. No bi-weekly payments. Glims only. One time offer. Deal? Well, well. I can hear the money sloshing around in your pockets. Fork it over if you still want me to work in that awful overbrook. All right? Easy. Well, just like that. You've got yourself a deal. I'll start prepping my move. I'll tell my job that I'm moving up to a better gig. Hmm. Overbrook doesn't sound too exciting. I might just lie and say I'm going to a more reputable hospital. Well, see you around. Thanks for the money. Would he have just joined regardless? Damn it. Alright, how do I get... How do I get up on top of that? No, there's gotta be something. Shit. 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 I just made it worse. It's fine. I'm getting that shiny thing. Wait a minute. Fuck, I missed something. God damn it. I got to go all the way up. Saying here. Yep. Okay, we're up here now. There was a thing right there, god damn it. No. Oh. oh almost squandered it. vacation Henry eight years old oh, was that a photo thingy no 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 oh, there it is oh. there's people up here hello oh. hey you guys hiding out up here I've been here. How do I talk to you? Hi. Shit. Let's talk more. What you? Rude. All right. Back to Overbrook. Wait, wasn't there something else I had to do here for Bev? Talk to this person. Project. Yeah, cool. I did find it. Sick. Love that. Where's my boat?
later fillers. Or is it burnt yet? Nope. Hey. Good morning. I'm taking a little breather and resting my legs. Do you need this chair? Nope. Perfect. More searching time for me. Look it. Here's a thing. Oh. I looked NSFW for a second. Look at that. That's not a giant robot. That's me. I look so young. Oh, wow. He was drawing me knitting on that chair. Oh, Henry. Growing up made such a sweetheart out of him. Before that, he was a little monster. A kind of kid who was noisy when the show was on, but calm during the commercials. One day he just calmed down. It was strange. Overnight, he became his dad. Brilliant and quiet. Real quiet. He just retreated into his thoughts. What an odd thing to... To think in your head at night to... Hmm. Dream. Yeah, dream about. Were you, um... Maybe he just got quiet because... You didn't accept him. Or something. Heckin... Burn, food! Oh, I should have headed to the Overbrook. It's fine. We'll harvest our lettuce. Yeah, you keep dinging and you're not burning, so... Oh, no more lettuce seeds. Okay, Overbrook... ...is quite a distance away. Do I just yeet all the way through it? Oh, safe travel mode? Fuck yeah, dude. Does that make it so I don't get... I don't run into anything that I don't want to run into? No. The other one. Thank you. Meters need some waters. <gasps> I can't tell if that's black smoke because <laughs> the color is changing. Look at the stars is fallen. How beautiful. You coming outside to look at it? Oh, you missed it. You missed it. I needed this for you earlier. You keep... Oh. She's giving me fabrics. Got it. It's black smoke! Please be burnt. Yes, thank God. Ah. Uh, and after we just left Francis, too. And he's not here. That's a bummer. Huge bummer. All right, Daria. What you got? <sighs> Can't do anything there yet. Hello. Thank you so much for helping out. This really means a lot. We might just be... We might all just be patients here, but that doesn't mean we have to be treated this way. This goes... This just goes to show you, sometimes good people just need to step in. People not doing their jobs just boggles the mind. Lives are literally in your hands. It's just so... I'm getting worked up here. So things are just looking up. The kitchen is making some strides in the food department. No one has gotten food poisoning in the past few days, so that's a plus. I saw some fancy pants doctors doing the rounds. One of them was really obnoxious, but that's better than no doctors. Oh, and you might have noticed that there isn't random trash just littering the halls. Maintenance is keeping the grounds clean. That just about does it. 
I won't keep you. Thanks again. Don't be shy around these parts. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Hi, friend! Oh, I love her. Now I'm told that I am free. Free? Uncertain. The freedom might be a trick, I thought. A sinking of the light. A twisted mirror. Uh, no. You are here. Magic. I am. I... Ah. Thank you for coming. I... I am not as I was when we last we met, Stella. You see, I'm adrift on an ocean. Of my own making. And I've come to realize that... I cannot produce the words. I shout them over the endless expanse of water, where they die down with the whispers and insignificant ripples. And, and I believe that you can still hear them. You are the one who listens, who knows how to listen. You can illuminate the ocean's starless nights. The instrument you have gifted me, and uh, you remember, you remember my song, don't you? Please go outside and play it. It shall guide me. I believe you will understand. Literally in a cage. You want some food? You want an apple? I can't enough. Something else, please. You want a peach? Fresh, delicious, delicate, juicy, delicious fruit. Thank you. Oh my god, can I give you a hug? <sighs> yes! Oh, I love her. A strong with a warm heart. Yay, look, she's happy now. Oh, she likes fresh fruit. She, she likes... I tried to give her an apple and she wouldn't have it. But I figured out her apple. that She likes it. That's nice. Sick. Okay, play the music outside, she said. Holy shit! When you first climbed up to the tower, you saw only a fragile thing, deserving of care and empathy. Whoa, drug trip. Look how cool she looks! You did not see the steely bonds with which the giant had stilled me. And neither did you see the tumultuous sea underneath. And how it grew angrier and angrier in accordance to the giant's fickle spirits. No. You saw the pain and neglected the wound. Holy shit. Am I supposed to... S do something with those lights? Do I light them? No. I am uncertain. Oops, damn it. I'm actually uncertain what I'm supposed to do with these lights. Oh, game like froze up there for a second. Right. Oh. Whoa, okay. I didn't know you could yeet across like Pac Man. It is unsurprising that, that you were I'm ready for the giant's last dying spasms. Or his encounter with demons of his own that would break his will. Unsurprising and understandable was your confusion. When the invisible but raging sea swept me away, and were unmoored and weighted as I was, I sunk to the deepest depths. Okay. Also, question. I have no idea what she's talking about. I don't get her symbolism at all. Hope to never visit them again. Within the, them roamed all manners of vicious beasts, toothed, fanged, and scaled. Hungry always for suffering and pain, or doubts, memories, and minds. 
every single morsel. To survive, I thrashed and I flailed. So much so that I managed to shed my bonds along with strands of myself. And the beast, as expected, promptly devoured them. She talking about how she was treated in the hospital? Oh, come on, that didn't work. Lightened as I was, I floated back to the surface, far from the beasts. It was there. It was there the gentle hands plucked me from a gentler sea. And there, as I was lying surrounded by wispy figures, neither good nor bad, I contemplated an image that had been burned in my, my empty mind. For through the nest of the beasts, a strange glimmer caught my eye. Remnants and wrecks from past voyages containing treasures of an past long forgotten. The raft of the Medusa. Oh, look, she's out! The Titanic did. Wait, was she on the Titanic? I'm confused. Uh. Go to the vending machine. Okay. Yo. The vending machine's not ready for me. Oh, fucking... Per okay. Hey. What did you do? Seriously. Spit it out. Daria seems to really have responded to you. I've never seen her like that. So vibrant. I don't know what you did, but it did wonders. And another thing, what's going on with the Overbrook? I've worked here for ages and it never changes. Odd things have not been happening ever since you came around. One minute everything is going to shit. The power is constantly going in and out. We've got big rats as big as dogs. It's always raining, then... Oof! Things are turning over. They're still bad, but less bad, you know? It's like... I can't... I still can't swim, but I don't have monster-sized rats trying to eat my feet. But you know what I think? I think all these changes are related to you and that weird looking vending machine. Don't make that face, I mean it. Listen, I've never used it personally. I don't believe in money and the concept of spending said money. But whenever you use it, weird stuff happens. More good than weird. Still, it's pretty weird. So I'm thinking, you should just go all out and buy a bunch of stuff from the vending machine. Really let yourself loose. If it magically brings new life to this place, who am I to stand in the way? Also, it might cheer up Daria and everyone else in this depressing hellhole. I won't keep you. Enjoy the snacks at the vending machine. Fingers crossed for the weird good stuff. Did this side get rebuilt? Nope. Although... That plant seems bigger. Have I, have I been enjoying my time at the Overbrook? Not really. Everyone was so mean to me. They keep calling me names. Like Trashy or Piles. You know? Names relating to picking up trash. You probably already figured that out. I do enjoy picking up other people's trash, but it still hurts. I don't like when people call me mean names. Very few people like that, I suppose. This job would be great if they would just stop trash talking me. Oh no, I'm the one doing it now. I just want them to treat me with a little bit of respect. Or at the very least, not talk to me. Would you mind telling them to stop? That would make my days a little bit better. Okay. Did not expect that. Talk to the hit. Head doctor. Oh. Okay. Head doctor man. Did you leave? I need to talk to you. Shit. Doctor's gone. Oh, hey. You better help us out. The kitchen's gross. I've got nothing to work with. The pans are older than my grandmother. They look like they've been through the Great War. I know I'm not a real cook, but I do have principles. You gotta find a way to help us out. Oh, wow. Sorry for lashing out. I know it's not your fault. Jeez, it's not even your problem. Listen, do me a favor. We need to get some proper cooking going on. We've been serving what looks like dog food until now. Not the rich, fancy kind. More like the discount bin stuff. We don't have any fresh produce. It's all dried up and non-perishable. Even raccoon ink mining code wasn't that cruel. They know that fighting or feeding your employees was at least good business. A ration day keeps the scurvy away. However, 
This is just unacceptable. I've been making some of the worst food I've ever made in my life here. I need your help. I need to find some fresh ingredients and a variety of stuff too. I can't be making bread with old newspapers and toilet water. Gross. It just doesn't work. I don't want to make these people sicker than they already are. They need proper meals that'll help them get better. Give them life juice. So here's a list of things I need. Don't skip on the good stuff now. It would really help me out. I'm making this slop and it doesn't taste like anything. I'll take a breather and I'll promise I'll be calmer when you come back. Thanks. I don't know what to say. This is what we're serving. Oh. Where? Leek, raspberry, rice flour. Oh, snap. I was making that on my boat, I think. Fuck yes. I didn't read that. That's Charon symbol too, huh? Is that the... The place of Charon? Oh, he was like, oh, fuck, Radiant Springs. Where do I get those? Son of a bitch. All right, let's go get that rice flour. I don't know if it's done yet. If it, it I mean, I'm sure it's done, but it's probably only one. All right. Me egg. Shit. Hopefully I have enough rice to make rice flour. Oh, I need two more. Oh, it's it stopped being made. Because it stopped moving. Okay, that's good enough. Maybe we'll go find Francis. There he is. I feel like I'm getting more done today than I did it all through yesterday. Holy crap. Need more celery, do we? Hold on, Francis. I'm coming. No, stop that. Meters are mine. Almost out of tomatoes. finish Buck's quest. This guy? Shit. Oh! Maybe that was it. Because Buck came out of his own thing. I, I didn't see the quest thing pop up. Commander! Well done! You accomplished once again an adventurous task. Bards will once again sing your praises. The graces of Amalda will once again inscribe your name in their scrolls and scrolls. You did great. Congratulations. What? That was it? Okay. I don't know how to get those things either. Uh, Overbrook. Oh, play Daria's song somewhere near the power station. Oh, snap. Okay. Okay. You're the power station. What for what? 4 2 Y 4 
song near the power station. Oh, even the like tower is getting some color to it. That's kind of cool. Oh, I almost fucked that up again. How do I play Daria's song? How do I play Daria's song? Somewhere near the power station. Wait, it doesn't it doesn't mean the vending machine, right? Station. Maybe this grumpy person. Ooh. I'm trying to do it. Not letting me. not letting me. What the heck? Now it will. How do I make it do Daria's song? God damn it. It's where all these sticky notes are at. There you go. One memory is so deeply ingrained I can never forget it. The day it started hearing the noise. Faintly at first, then louder and louder yet. And drops of water that only I could hear. Perhaps I saw it as a sign that I could no longer fit within the warm confines of the family home. And so I left, seeking the source of the noise. In the beginning of my quest, the land was gentle. I remember, remember the tender grass and the soft wind. I kept following the sound of the droplets, all the while paying little attention to the water rising at my feet. Soon enough, I was wading through a murky and dark flood, surrounded by a thick fog, and yelps and growls and glimmers. I, th I think that's where she's talking about she was getting admitted. No, God damn it. Whoa, what the heck's going on there? Spiky things. From this period, there's not much to remember. A vacancy that lasts an eternity. No dive can ever restore these memories. They've been wiped clean, picked to the bone. It is as though they never existed. As if I'd fallen through cracks in time. Still, they were the mud and scratches bear witness.
Spanky bits. The waters are so high now, nothing pierces them. An endless ocean, unbearably calm. The murk has dissipated, and the water is clearer than it has ever been. The flip-flopping has stopped. And so, now, with nowhere to go but down, I dive. But I must do so carefully, delicately. Lest they disturb the silt that has, through the aeons, set into peaceful but fragile blanket. What? Oh, look, she's out here. You want a hug? Oh, you came all the way over here. Look, this guy all, all got painted. <gasps> this is lovely. Can I buy another thing? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, it just goes in order. Okay. Loose spices. Listen. It kind of sounded like uh, Charon at the beginning. He was like, Daffodil. Mm. Stella. Remember? In the cafeteria. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go play our, some heckin' musics. I was gonna say, we're gonna keep an eye open for sticky notes. Damn it. Yep, yeah, Daffodil! Yeah, Yay! This wreck lies hidden among the reefs in the mud. Only a faint glow betrays its presence. It lies on its side, abandoned and forgotten. But as I get closer, the noise hits me. Voices happy and sad, playful bangs and clangs. Within the ship live a great deal many of faceless shades. Mother and father, unruly brothers and sisters. A cacophony that is enticing and dreadful at once. get up there oh just jump on it it's pushing my jump height here can I grapple onto those or is it one of these it's one of those no shit one of these shades escapes me it is Rotate form in a tunnel. Insubstantial. It has ghastly quality that I cannot easily understand it. It seems to actively resist focus. It takes some convincing for me to accept for it for what it is. An echo of a previous self. Remnants undevoured by the depths, unaware of them even. A treasure, a treasure of incommensurable value. I beat it with cautious curiosity. Sadness. For I realize or remember one essential truth that perhaps I would rather not remember. The tableau before me exudes a chaotic happiness. A happy family brought together by conflicts and laughter. Close one. Oh shit. Does one jump over there? No, I could just make that jump. Shit. Oh, right.
No. I didn't know that one did, would disappear. <laughs> there we go. If at any point some all-powerful painter were to judge the tableau and remove the ghastly lone shade from it, nothing of the composition would be affected. Unnoticed and untouched. Last Supper. Alright, let's go do that. Also, we should check my boat to see if the, the flower is done. We got... Oh, we got trees now. That's awesome. Wow, look how magical it looks. Oh, Buck's ready to talk. Or are you just hungry? A new adventure awaits. Deep down in the nervous crevices of the underworld slithers a vile and villainous creature. A treacherous enemy, one who puts our newly gained peace at peril. A lizard king. Fallen monarch of the Slizzer... Slizzeraz dynasty. Long was he in waiting, cloaked by the shadows of the Kerloman grottos. Long was he devising his grotesque return. But commander, the ever vigilant sentinel thrushes have warned us of his reapparition. He has been last seen in Edinburgh Lane. There is hope we can stop him and make him see reason. Onward! <laughs> oh, Bev wants to talk too. That's those are not done. I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering, would it be possible to build me a house? I remember the kids in Davis lived on a farm in nature. Dude. You've done that. Multiple times. Oh, a little farmhouse. That's right. It's right here. I don't want to well down once again. Not everyone is good with houses. You. Freaking me out. Want some tea? Oh, I don't touch stuff. That's stimulant. If you think it's a bit intense already, things get me look demented. It's not that I don't like them. I just don't like how they make me feel. I'm already at the right amount of bev. Okay, no stimulants. How about some bread? Thank you. Ah! Finished. Give me two, please. Dicks. Although, is that all I needed? Oh, I needed one more blurb. One more is all I needed. All right, we'll just come back. Look at how stinking pretty this place is now. Ooh, is there going to be a side on the right? Oh, here. Or left. After an eternity of drifting, this place took me in. You would have not recognized me. Sunburnt, cracked, bursting at the seams. A mind bloated with the muddy thoughts of the self. And of the other useless detritus but back from the depths. Okay. Okay, those. Oh, I missed it. Missed it again because I'm good at this game. Okay. Be patient. <laughs> Daffodil's just looking at me like an idiot. Or looking at me like I'm an idiot. Holy shit, for some reason. Is that like a school chalkboard? What's going on there? Oh, snap. I didn't think you were going to disappear. They found me here with coarse moorings. And then they roared and thrashed and raved. They only tightened the bonds. Brutish methods. But as I came to understand, fish, efficacious ones. Were they... For while they could not see the raging ocean, with its winds and tempests, and its waves I was forced to breathe in, leaving me hurt and sickly, they seemed to understand that I should not be allowed to sink. This was a trip I was not survive.
things have changed now. The new caretakers, they are... different. Nary a sound. They move graciously. They wear soft gloves and velvety shoes. They secretly busy themselves around me. An unseen army of sheaths and ghostly servants. Always making sure that I never go wanting. Something to be scared of, but a miracle to be celebrated. A reliquary of strange and alien treasures, overwhelming in their otherworldly beauty. Only you can explore this strange world with me. An anchor, a buoy, and a lifeline, all at once. Thank you, Stella. Hey, friend. Want some food? I'll give you an apple. Crunchy, tart, sweet. An apple, a fruit beyond measure. Oh, her like little flower grows and <laughs> it's adorable. Crunch, crunch. I love you. Give big hugs. Fuzzy and soft. Delicate. Hurry. So exciting. All right. What up next, caretaker men? Oh, I need to talk to you about... This guy over here getting bullied. Okay, those do not go back. Although these bushes did. That's kind of nice. That's a moss. I can barely recognize this place. It's a good kind of beige now. It's just still a hospital. Let's see. I told you this vending machine was magic or something. I'm happy and all, but it's super creepy. What? An all-powerful snack dispenser capable of changing the laws of physics? You don't find that... that's creepy? You're right. What am I even saying? That's not possible. I probably just need glasses. Yeah, that's it. I'm just blind now. Overbrook is just a totally normal hospital and I can't see properly. I won't question it any longer then. Thank you, I suppose. Thank you again. There's work to do. But it's a good start. No, I'm supposed to talk to the man. So people stop bullying him. God dang it. Oh. I need more of the stuff. Splish. Please be done. It won't be. Hasn't been enough time. I don't even think it's not spinning. Damn it. Nope. Stop. Let go. There you go. Okay. What are the things we gotta do? And we're lane. I suppose we can go there. is the question. There it is. All the way down there, eh? Gotta keep an eye on this. Wait me all over here. Excuse me. Holy crap. Stopped. What the fuck? Uncool, dude. My friend. We're going down here. Is this... It was this guy, right? Yes. Oh, 
Honk honk, I know. Excuse me. Oh, I can't get myself yawning, I apologize. Hurry up. Hurry up. I need that stuff. Egg for me. Seeds for you. Meters for me. How do I make a pizza? Oh look, they added more stuff. I wonder if that's... more achievement stuff. There it is, pizza. Tomato and wheat flour. Yeah, we're making you a pizza buck. Don't you worry. What am I doing here again? Oh, there's a, there's a lizard man. Is he starting another D&D group? Whee. We should probably check. Meet the lizard king. Is he going to be in the outfit? Peasant! Well, he said that. I am the great Lizard King, first of his name, great noble of House Reptilia. You are my royal subject. You must do whatever I wish. Well, I need carrots. My town is hungry, poor peasant. They need food. There is a problem. We had food, but I ate it all. I keep eating. All of the time. But I am a proud monarch. I cannot tell this to my people. You must help me. Find me some carrots so I may feed the hungry. I have a sickness. Think about me when you do this. Want some carrots? My loyal subject! I am so happy! These are some of the most beautiful carrots ever. I will have the greatest time eating them. If I'm not... If I'm not hungry, then how can my subjects be hungry? It doesn't make sense! You did well for your king. Praise me! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm the lizard king. Buck, you have some goofy friends, bruh. Crap, am I out of carrots now? <gasps> The autumn end forever. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought one of these I needed carrots. Whew. Lucky me. I did it, Buck. You proud of me? This thing's not spinning again. So annoying. You are obnoxious. I got the pizzas though. Yeah, kid, dude. All right, what do we got? Talk to the head doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to Buck. Oh. All right, well, Buck wakes up. We're gonna make our way back. My stuff is done. Hell yeah, dude. Whoa. That just opened. I don't ever remember seeing this open up. I don't ever remember seeing that open up. Heck. Yes. This thing. Annoying. Hey, Buck, you want to wake up? I got pizza for you. It's your favorite. Look 
fucking all the stuff on my boat. Come out. Come out. Yeah. Alright. Talk to the boss, Dr. Man. Excuse me. Talk to Chef Man. Are you awake, Buck? There you are. I saw you awake. Don't lie to me. Your eyes were awake. I saw it. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> Was he just spawning in? Jeez. What are we always running into? My... That was weird. My whole... My controller was vibrating. How you doing, cowies? See, you're full. Dude, look at that tower! So stinking colorful. Oh my god, it's gorgeous here now. If only extra strength toffee that cuts through glass, says the vibrant packaging. Experience the colors of the cosmos. Okay, so cuts through glass. <laughs> this person you're about to see some things, my friend. You just stand here. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna buy that. You stole my precious mirrors, sticky coffee. Or toffee. I had my name written on it and everything. Just by luck. Half the time they get stuck coming down the machine because they're so sticky. Oh, I've wasted so much time and effort trying to get that delicious toffee. And you just could get it on the first try. No fair, give it back. Please, please, please. Listen, you can trade. We can trade for it, okay? What do you want? Thank you so much. Here, your sticky toffee is the only thing that soothes my toothaches. Ah, uh, sweet teeth toffee. <laughs> okay. Space sticks. Daffodil just playing with their ball. Well, we bought everything. Hell yeah, dude. Look at how pretty. That person turned. Did they want to speak to me? Oh, just love how everything is clean. I'm talking clean, clean. Like you need off the floor clean. Something to be proud of. Like you can see reflection and it's clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to dream about clean floors tonight. Okay. Where's the man? Oh, look at the flowers. Well, he's not here. He's not on the balcony. Sorry, I think I broke the game. If you want to be a chef, you gotta have boatloads of claws, dry claws, wet claws, wiping claws, and it's gotta hang from your apron so people know you mean business. Cooking business. That's what the, being a chef is all about. Looking great. Yeah, that, that chicken guy. Okay. I got a hired by an external firm to do some cleaning here. I don't actually work for the hospital, but I only work here. It's a bit strange, isn't it? I don't get benefits or anything like that. If I get hurt on the job, they just fire me. The other day, Marcus slipped on some fluid. Broke his wrist. Oswald doesn't even want to treat him. He just went home. I haven't seen him in a while. I just know he's not on the calendar anymore. Well, I better look for any fluid or something. Gotta be extra safe around there. Yeah, what? Oh, you guys still haven't found your cat. I'm here because of you. I saw you jump on an umbrella. Then my friend were like, Simon, do that. You like that lady? Jump on that umbrella. Look where you got. Look where it got me. Where? Well, here. At the hospital. That's because I was bullied into doing something that my friend saw you doing. You didn't have to do it. It's not fair. I'm not. A, uh, now I'm afraid of umbrellas and dumpsters and weird little tents. I'll be living in fear for the rest of my life. I never want to see any of them ever again. And I never want to see you again. All right. Nice, nice. My wool coat is sick. Yes, my wool coat. I put it in the dryer. Now it's different. It's smaller and it's sick. Can you tell me what my next steps are? Antibiotics. Is surgery out of the question? A brand new wool coat? 
I need your expertise. Oh. I got kicked out of the upstairs crew, but the fall was pretty rough. Broke a pinky, I think. That darn upstairs crew. Oh. They think they're so great. With the ladders and the tall shoes. Being higher doesn't make you better, you know. Being higher makes you higher, though. Oops. Bounce. 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 Wee! Now, this is the good stuff. We can definitely do something with these. I'll start working on the getting french fries on the menu. In a few days, we should have Millsy and Fisherman's Pie. Oh, I'll even try to get my hand on a nice vegetable stir fry. Patients have been, compl Patients have been complaining about the food for a while now. Well, at the very least, these new dishes make them stop. Oh, I can't wait for Gertrude or Gary to taste these meals. No more. Your food tastes like wet socks. Or my granddaughter makes tastier food than this. Well, I better get to it. Thanks again. Heck yeah, dude. Well, that's the... That was aren't even real. Did you know that? I sure didn't. For a while, I thought I was just doing something wrong. I wasn't getting into complicated love triangles with my co-workers. I wasn't embroiled in a high-stakes murder conspiracy. I was just being a doctor. The way they taught me in school. It was odd. It was a different kind of doctoring. Like over the pond or something? Bullshit. Um... That guy... I'm trying to talk to the head doctor at the balcony, but it doesn't let me, dude. Talk to Buck. All right. There's nothing with Daria even, so I guess we're talking to Buck. Ooh, and Bev, huh? Manor! Oh, what a valiant effort! The Lizard King is fierce combatant, and his taste for carrots is legendary. We should have planned more meticulously. Nothing good ever comes of wake helping the wicked. But, that reward always tries. I know I want to tell you this man from my town was one of those two estate real estate agents. He certainly wanted to make an impression. He had a giant mustache and was always wearing a tuxedo. He was quite odd. Anyways, it turns out that he couldn't sell a house to save his life, but... He was a lead salesperson in his district for two years straight. The local paper did a big story on him. He found out that his wife was buying all the properties. She had... Oh, that's horrible. She had like 20 properties in her name. The whole neighborhood was nearly empty. She could afford it. Her dad had struck rich in oil. Just goes to show you. You can't judge it. Please. Well then. Fucking... Bev... I'm trying to talk to you and you're running from me. I sure am hungry. Yep. Have some... Corn dog? Well, shit. Now what? I cannot talk to this... Doctor. On the balcony. I, I think I broke it. Dude, it's actually broken. I did stuff too out of order or something. Are you in here, Daria? You want some... I got a bunch of fruit. Feels cared for, has a nice house. Oh, she's just going to hang out here. Okay. So she's not going to be... Son of a bitch, I don't know what to do. I think I broke my game. What? Oh, trash, she doesn't like being called names. There he is. Well, that's news to me. I really thought we had it before. I would produce trash, she would pick it up, and I would call him trash for later name. We had this whole bit. I'm a bit shocked, really. I'll try and be better at reading social cues next time. Hmm? It's awful now. What should I do? Go apologize. Well, money has always been in the been the answer for me. What does trash... I mean, uh, 
Well, I actually don't know his name. I'll find that out first thing in the morning. In the meantime, I should do something nice for him. Hmm, I got it. You should go give him something healthy. That always cheers me up. An apple, maybe? I know it sounds expensive, but it's organic and so healthy for you. I eat like 12 a day. That's why I'm so vibrant and fit. I'm sure he'll love it. He always rambles on about eating healthy and producing his own food. What's time for that? Not me. But you know, everyone's got a thing. So here's some money, just in case. Just go see, see him with an apple. I'm sure things will be fine after that. Thank you. Oh yeah, dude. He's, yep. Uh, because <laughs> apples are a way to heal you making fun of someone. What? Yeah. I don't want your dumb rich people apple. If he thinks a fruit bot with dirty money will make things better, he's completely delusional. But look at the scenery. There's a garden here right now. Nature completely overtook these ruins. This looks amazing. It's so beautiful and... Oh, just smell the air. It's so fresh. This is way better than some stupid fruit or whatever. I heard rich people's apples were actually made of recycled apples. <laughs> Mixed in with like dirty magazines, little rocks, used water, etc. You know, the gross stuff. What I enjoy about rich people is the way they spend their money. Mm. On dumb things. Well, well. I don't know how this overgrown gun popped up. It sure makes my little feud with the doctor pretty inconsequential. He can call me whatever he wants. I don't care. I got a gun now. I'm clearly better than him. Oh, look at the splendor. Nature really does thing make really makes things look better, doesn't it? Okay. Am I at the end of the game? Crow's in lost bounty. Alright, I'm gonna have to go look at that thing in my projector. Oh, he wants to talk. Hmm. You! You're the errand person from earlier! Always running around and doing things for others? Listen, you're the one that got me here. Which is great knowing, but I have an issue. Listen up. Whatever your name is. I didn't end up selling my penthouse. The market is quite unstable right now. No, no, no. I don't want you to, you to answer for me. That's not it. My problem is my collection of exotic birds. My bir birds can't be alone for too long. They get antsy. But some of them have, let's say, special needs. I need you to find some kind of bird babysitter. A bird sitter! Someone who likes wings and beaks, I suppose. Uh, Dev, I think. Oh. Why can't I do it? Well, I'm a rich and busy doctor. Oh. I can't leave in the middle of surgery with my hands all bloody. If I leave to feed my birds, who will clean my bloody hands when I'm not at the hospital? Oh. Do I need to bring an assistant with me at all times just because my birds need to be fed every day? I don't think so. That assistant has a life of her own. That assistant has things to do, places to go. Why are you making my assistant do all this extra work? You need to think of other people for once in your life. So listen, you need to do two things. First up, you need to buy specialty treats for my precious birds. Cherries are your best bet. It's probably the only good thing in the world. Next, and this is tricky, so listen carefully. You need to find someone who is good with birds or lizards or whatever. Someone to be at my house once a day to care for my army of birds. Another doctor was telling me about a service at Edinburgh Lane. Something, something Lizard King? Wait, what? I wasn't really listening. Maybe you can look into it. I need my birds to be babysat and pampered. Is that too much to ask in these modern times? Are you serious? Those are tied in together? Fucking weird. God damn it, I gotta head all the way back down there. It's fine. Yes, I see you. Eating a chat. Which one was it? Edinburgh Lane. So, yeah, we want to do... We want to do a quick port. Don't go to sleep yet, Bev. Sweet Pea, you probably wonder where I've been lately. I've been hiding out in my house. I didn't want to come out. Just like a small town, word gets around. And the gossip starts. My walls are not that thick. I can still hear people talking. Talking about me. There's no one else on the ship. That, this kind of thing, unwanted gossip, I mean. It happened all the time back in town. People don't seem to change. One of my good friends was always the nicest to me. She would always praise my hairstyle or the way I dressed. Compliments were always coming. And this was when I just had just lost my brother. You remember? I told you that story about the sudden brain aneurysm. Or thing. Taking the dog for a walk, then poof! On the ground. Well, it was around that time. One day I was at her house for a gun party and we had to leave early. My husband wasn't feeling too well. Too many cocktails. He was such a lightweight. Well, we left quite suddenly, but I had forgotten my purse. I came back now 15 minutes later from the sidewalk I could hear while she was talking behind my back. Back about how I wore the same dress two parties in a row. 
She said if it was a very offhanded way. Like she was stating a fact. Everyone knows that. She should know better than. That's what I remember. The way it made me feel. I didn't like it. This is how I feel now. Nobody likes to be kicked out. Kicked when they're down. I've been feeling like I'm losing my mind. And on top of that, other people on the boat have been talking about behind my, about me behind my back. There's no one else here. Except for Buck. He stays in his room. I don't want to put you, you to put yourself in a delicate situation, but could you help? Maybe do the rounds and see for yourself what's going on. I would appreciate it. Thank you, sweetie. There's no one fucking here, bro. Talk to the other passengers. There's no one here, Bev. You... All right. Yeah, I think she's, uh... Although, since I did this after the game, or she got added, it would make more sense if there's other people here. Oh, fuck. Now what? Here's Stella. One Daria. One Daria has expressed her desire to receive your visit. Regards. Overbrooks. Okay. I gotta go see Daria. After I talk to the Lizard King! Moving, that's nice. There's got to be more achievements now, right? Because they added a bunch of new stuff. Uh, although, the new stuff could... Man, my camera feels laggy. The new stuff could literally be just like... Their favorite foods and stuff. Oops, because I am... Can't do that that in a minute gotta find oh that's what i was gonna do check this thing again project two little islands i think that's the north area Just check. Feels like that's right about here. Nope. Over here. Yep, it's right over here. Okay. Do that in a minute. Let's go talk to the Lizard King. Well, I knew you would come back. You are a bad peasant. Couldn't really keep your promise. The wonderful Lizard King is quite displeased with you. Look at what we have here. An offering for the Lizard King? Good. Well, tell me what you have brought. Your hands are empty, but your promise is enticing. Birds. Lots of birds. In a sanctuary in this city. How wonderful. This is indeed a treat. You should know. You should know how to shower your king with presents. It will be written into law by royal decree. These birds will become royalty. They will be pampered and spoiled. They will be kings and queens of the animal kingdom. This is indeed a grand day. Huzzah! Okay. I guess we're done. Can we go back? I should probably check. Yep. Back to the overbrook. Well, maybe I'll go check out that thing for Buck. Everyone needs to wake up. Time needs to pass. Can I get it up there? That'd be cool. 
Hi, friend. You want a hug? And we'll loot the trees. Get them that cherries and get them them apples. Hello, friend. Got a lot of traveling with you lately. It's snowing. I don't remember that happening. That feels new. All right, Buck. Are you gonna wake up and see where we're at? He has passed the F out. <laughs> Just rising. Oh, treasures. I forget how to loot the treasure. There it is. I got a glowing thing. Water retaining soil. I got more. Whoa! I got some upgrades. Hold up. Oh, upgrades for my... My plants? Yo. Okay. Citric! Welcome to the stream! I appreciate you popping in. Just say hi. I hope you sleep well, my friend. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, yes, please focus on your studies. Kick ass, do your best. I believe in you. But until then, please sleep well. And we'll see you soon. Wait, wait, wait. Build. It's not going to be a new thing. Although there seems to be a new building there. Yeah, yeah, the boat got a little bit big, didn't it? <laughs> Aha! Silica powder. I need a bunch of silica powder. Need a bunch of silica powder. Okay, let's go smash some stuff. Actually, we're gonna make our way back while we're smashing some stuff. Smash the tings. Uh, it's quartz, the silica powder, right? I hope. I don't think that was enough. Okay, hopefully that was enough. with the same technology as modern diapers. Running out of fire glow. Maybe I should plant some of those, eh? Not you. Hey. 
Maybe this doesn't have extra achievements because I haven't gotten any. God dang it. I'll have to look it up. Alright, let's go to... Overbrook. Over here! Clippity clappity clap clap! Good luck, wake up. I need to feed him his pizza. Bye, friend. Where the heck is he? Buck! Where you at? Just Bev. She's knitting the thing. A hug. Buck! Where you at? Where the heck is Buck? There he is. <laughs> hey, buddy. You hungry? Here's a pizza. I'm looking for you. Where's the pizza? I made it special for you. There it is. Oh, it's your favorite. A vision for a daughter who mend himself. A slice of blood sauce. What you mortals call tomato pizza? Wow. I go. I love him. <laughs> Carefully, talking behind her back. By the seven graces of Imalda, I would never, I couldn't. Mm. I thought she liked me. Weird. I hope I didn't do anything to upset her. Yes, yeah, see, I love him. Oh, great. Oh, oh great. Pirate Kevin. I have to try to give him his voice back. What a marvelous find! In the ice, no less. Many captains have perished in such conditions. Not ye. No need to walk the plank. Arr! Now we just have to wait for the next issue of Lotus Literary Review. Hopefully there's more articles about seagulls. Alright, Bev, your thing's done now. He's the only one on the ship. I didn't sleep well last night. My back was killing me. What are you doing? Are you busy right now? No. Oh, I didn't ask you to do that. I haven't been talking to anyone. Have people been talking behind my back? I don't think they would have had time to form an opinion of me. Are you sure I asked you to do that? Don't cast like me. That sounds like something you would do on your own. I might go introduce myself now. Hopefully you haven't ruined my reputation right now. Oh, sweet pea. Always trying to help out. Oh, fuck off. Beverly. Gaslighting me. Oh. <gasps> hi! 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 Hi, Lo! Stella, you are... here. I feel... I... How do you... You like my paintings? I fucking love your paintings, Daria. I... I need your help, Stella. Another dive. Away from here. You know what I mean, do you not? The doctors, they... They will not say a thing. Not if I am going with you. I know better than to protest. I know what it all means. It is. Let us go. No! I'm gonna lose Daria already! Fuck off, game! Man. I'm losing Daria before I lose Beverly. That's uncool, dude. I like Daria. Beverly can leave the boat. Oh. Well, that settles that. Thank you for taking care of my precious buds. I miss them so much. No problem. Wait, can you just be on my boat now? Can I build you a house? Can I build you a house on my boat? That sounds lovely. Let me build you a house. Where are you? Oh, all those sheep had the exact same animation at the same time. What do you want, Bev? I needed this for you. Thank you. And he's going to give me his snacks. Thank you. Wait. Those tools. Sure. Thank you, buddy. We're not here. 
Because we already know your form. Where are you? I heard you. Are you in my room? Hi! <laughs> what are you doing there? Just hanging? Alright, what do I do for Beverly now? I have nothing else to do. I don't want to go. I have to take her to the dev door because I have nothing else to do. And... Oh, shit. Undo. <laughs> that is a long ways to go. Undo that, please. Maybe Beverly's thing will trigger. Now that we're, uh... Moving along here. And all these... Glim bottles. Oops. What is it? There it is. Nice. A friend. It's giddy on it. Okay. We go to the Emperor. Ah, uh, the one character I liked in this bit is leaving immediately. That's super upsetting. It makes me very sad. Get the eggs. Thanks, chickens. <laughs> Look at the chicken butts. I just realized that. Ugh, here comes the sad part. Everyone sign your permission slips for the fields trip. Bev. Are you seriously going to be a butthead? Okay, there you are. I was going to be very upset with you, old lady. Look at Buck, just being a freaking trooper and awesome person. There is difference. We reached it, have we not? Then let us leave. Uh, I don't want it. I liked you. The other two could... Kick rocks. Look how fucking pretty. God damn. Here, yeah, it has this quality. Yes, I understand now. All the pieces of the self that were lost. Well, they ought to be here. So fucking pretty, bro. Oops. Right, voice. You look dejected. Do not. You knew all along, Stella. You had to. Did you think I would not I would not end it end here? No, I cannot be fooled like the others. The laws of this ocean have no bearing on me. You traveled with me, Stella, and I am grateful for it. Of all, only you saw the beauty within the depths. The wonders that have amazed and alienated me. This game is beautiful. <sighs> She's flying backwards, technically. I hope you see now that I am not to be pitied. Such brilliance is a gift like no other. And I am happy that, with me, you could glance at it. Huh. 
You see it now, do you not? My transparency. My lack of substance. I'm not getting better. Since the storm, every day, ribbons of me falling into oblivion. I have lost too much. I am, I am incomplete beyond repair. Below the critical mass required for a continued existence. Echoes of echoes can only last so long. Goodbye, Stella. No, oh, God, it's so sad. Look, Daffodil looks all sad. Goodbye, friend. Oh, that's adorable. I love that one. What, what the heck? Why is she still here? Alright, Bev, what do you want? Where'd you go? Whoa! That's Astrid! <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my god, all my friends are here! Oh my god, I have to give them a hug. Is this- this has to be new. This wasn't here before. Alright, even you get a hug, you creep. I don't like you. Oh my god. Where's Gwen? Where's my snake friend? When? When? I haven't seen you in forever. Where, wait, where? A tool! Oh my god! Hi, buddy! Oh, I love you so much. I'm gonna cry. Hi! Oh, I've missed you. I've been playing your music. Oh, you can kick rocks. No. Buck, you're sleeping. Do you not see this, dude? You're missing out. All our friends are back. Oh, yeah, Mickey. Hey. Oh. This has to be new. This was not here. Or I just never saw it. Oh, Stanley! Hey, buddy! Oh my god, I love this so much. Oh. This is amazing. We got everyone back. What do you want, Bev? Where'd you go? Where's Bev? Oh, are you okay? Oh, fucking, it's sleepy time. Oops. Oh. I love this. Get to see all my friends again. Look at him. He also a tool's here. So he must have got to the ever door without me. I'm thinking he just died on his own or something. Because I didn't take him. He just kind of left my boat. Is that one of the cows? That was weird. Dude, why is it lagging so stinking bad? Like, I'm, I'm seeing this fine. OBS is freaking out. 
Has the OBS been lagging that bad this whole time? I've dropped almost 1,200 frames. Has OBS been lagging that this whole time? Holy crap. That's like unacceptable. What the shit? Wow. You, my camera's lagging. Wow, that's awful. Thanks, OBS. You're awesome sometimes. You know what? I'll try something. All right, let's see if that fixed it. It's still crazy laggy. What the hell changed? Why is it so laggy? That's super unfortunate. God dang it. I don't know why it's so super laggy. Bev, you wanted to talk to me. Oh, I can't do anything with these. I can't even water them. I can't interact with anything. I can't interact with anything near this ever door, huh? Okay. Francis, bro, you need to you need to stop being so creepy and chasing me everywhere. Why is it gotta be so laggy, dude? CPU's, wow, actually way higher than it should be. Okay, what is eating my freaking CPU? It's at 55% right now. It's usually around 18. The heck is eating my stuff? I can loot these now. Is it still laggy? Yep, still laggy. What the fuck? Something's causing a problem. Alright, let me... See if there's anything running in the background that's just nuking everything. Holy crap, dude. Even task manager doesn't want to open quickly. What the hell? I don't like this. What the hell is going on here? I don't see anything sticking out. No idea. The other day, my explorer, EXE though, was acting up. I wonder if something's up with the latest Windows update. Oh my god, it's horrible. Oh, that's so bad. Very unfortunate. Alright, I'm gonna ring the bells. Sorry, guys, but Bev has something I can do. So wake up. Hi. Oh, I do enjoy being in this boat. I've been wondering, would it be possible to me? Oh. Fuck, why do you keep doing that? Oh. That's the third or fourth time you've said that. No. Come back. Want some yogurt? I don't fucking understand, Bev. Is she never gonna leave my boat? Hey, buddy. Good morning. Would you like some... Bisque? Oh, you're fine. Wanna hug? My short rest has already been taken. Oh, he's such a D&D &D guy. I love it.
How? Why is my... My output only at 30 FPS? Well, something changed on OBS, which is annoying as hell. <laughs> my output is not nearly what it should be. How long did, has it been that way? Thanks, OBS. Are you changing settings out from under me again? Oh, that's so annoying. Great. All right, try not to stress too much. Let's try to finish off the date. Although the settings just opened, so let me see. Output. Um, I'm very confused. It's... I have it set to use 60 FPS, but it is not using F or 60 FPS. <sighs> Thanks, o OBS. You're awesome. Appreciate you. Hi, Bev. Well, still, I know you, you know, something's not right with me, with my memory, with how I can think about things. I, I can't think the way I used to anymore. It's really hard, but you're here and it helps. You know what? Don't worry about it. Right, so, I did remember more of that dream I was telling you about the other day. You know, the one with the projector and the sweet corn? That's right. In that one, I was looking at my dad's old film negative. It was from when he was stationed in Europe. I don't remember where exactly. He never really talked about his experiences. He probably was my complete opposite. He did mention seeing some beautiful houses. He always said he would, should have built our house in that style. What was the name of that place? Nordweiler? That sounds about right. Hopefully if you find that acid, it will help me remember a little bit more. Oh, and take this. I'm sure it will come in handy. Thanks again, Sweet Pea. Aha! Progress. Alright, where's... Where's this Nordweiler place? OBS! I have words for you. Actually, I might have time to see where that's at. Oops, sorry. Nordweiler. Villa, blah, blah, blah. Hummingbird. A cave. Alt Harbor. Sandwich Walk. <laughs> I don't think it's over here. I think it's up here. Lonberg. There it is. Ups we goes. That's this one. All right, cool. We go here. up my stream real quick because I want to see if it's as bad as it's looking on OBS. Yep. Fantastic. Love it. <sighs> That's annoying. What the hell, OBS? I guess we'll wander these plants. I saw Daffodil, but... We have arrived! 
looking for acetate. Will you, will you sell it? Nope. Oh, I remember this place. This is where, um, what's her name went? You lost your keys, buddy? Invented winter. Oh, there's a key. Right, she gave me a key. Nope. <laughs> Which is uh, the the key thing that she used? All right, none of those. Maybe I'm missing... Like, it ends right here, right? Yes. How do I get up there? Oh, right here. This one? Aha! -ha! No, open it. There you go. Did I not get these? These all have one. I swore I got these before. I'm losing my mind. Or the game added him. In addition to what's here, was here already, or before. In the house, this is gonna be the acetate, right? Yeah, or not? Stronsburg, 1944. What was her dad in World War II? Still standing in war torn Strasbourg. Yep. Oh, what is that? That view. I love that look of these houses. They're so beautiful. My father was obsessed with architecture. He was a veteran. He went overseas and fell in love with the buildings. Even on the battlefield, he carried his film camera around his neck. He would always be taking pictures. Can you believe that? Despite all the violence and carnage, she still found beauty. Seeing those buildings fall left quite the impact on him. He didn't talk about it much. The war, I mean. The architecture became more of an... He talked about it all the time. Did I ever tell you that I lost my purse with the address book and my mother's brooch? I don't think so. Well, that purse had that photographed inside. I would take it out from... Mm. Let me take a little break. Uh oh, we got another thing from Buck. What was what? I heard some loud claims coming from the deck last night. Are you working on a secret project? No! Well, you should probably look around the boat. Something might be broken. Son of a bitch. Look around the boat for anything on the place. What'd you do, Buck? What, is it all the stuff I have growing on my boat? He's got something for me. Thanks, buddy. Only rings. Something looks out of place. Do you not see the size of this boat, dude? What could possibly look out of place? There's so much here. What the fuck? When did you get here? What the? Oh, Stella, uh... It's, uh... You see... 
It's not what it looks like. It's a. Uh, uh, I was. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm living here. I didn't have anywhere else to go. I certainly can't go back to the crappy hospital now after what happened to Dario. So I sneaked in, and this place seemed empty, so I figured I wouldn't hurt anyone. What? Is your friend's house? Well, how was I supposed to know that? Because it's not your house? And anyway, she's not even using it. I bet she's on some fancy vacation, right? Just lying around in one of her filthy villa 50 villas. Some people have everything, while us mooks have nothing. Fuck off, dude. So you know what? If she wants her house back, she'll just have to kick her me out herself. Uh, uh, I will throw you off this boat right now. Yeah, that's it. I'll show her that. What? She's... Oh. Shit. I, I'm i sorry, Stella. I didn't know. I'm talking to Don Marge again. I'll... Give me a minute. I'll pack myself and get out of your way. I know when I'm not welcome. What? I can live here. You do that for me? Even if all I did, it's... I... Well, if you insist, I'll find some spot out of the way. And I really don't want to sleep in the streets again. Yeah, you'll see. I can pay you back by helping around the boat. Jackie's not a freeloader. I don't need your help. You need mine. Yeah, just like old times. And, you know, I... Uh, thanks, smell... Uh, Stella. Thanks, Stella. Fuck. Tell me to watch it, fucker. Here, you get to have... That crap you were feeding people. Ew, that's... Ew. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Some cheese. Jerk. Damn it, I have him now. Oh, hey Stella, I can feel it in my bones. This season's about to change. We should take a look at the flowers. You don't remember? When we were neighbors, we had these beautiful red anemones in our garden. They looked so surprised when they would bloom each springtime. You probably thought it was magic or something. You had the look of how did they survive all winter. Well, flowers are resilient. They remember that they want to grow. You'll see the sunlight. You feel its warmth. That's what I like the most about you, sweet pea. You are always the brightest part of my day. I'm glad we were my neighbors. Neighbors. Are you sleeping in here now? Fucking just making yourself at home. Creep. Well, now what? Son of a bitch. Guess we're just gonna sail this way. Oh my god, that lag is driving me nuts. No idea what's going on. Excuse me. Well, I thought I was going to finish it off today, but Mr. Jackie showed up. Doesn't quite seem to be the case. Alright, let's go. Actually, I was going to head to Everbrook, but... I don't know... If I'm going to interact with that anymore. Because I think it's, it feels done now. Hmm. Maybe I can do an upgrade to, to Gwen's house. Bev wants something again. Oh, I missed. Hey, you, I can feel it in my bones. Take a look at the I You just did that. What the fuck? There's a bug. Oh. 
Well, now she's actually... Oh, shit. She actually said something different. She said it like seven times. That's not fair. Oh, Beverly's time. God damn it. Right after I left the... <laughs> the quick port. Damn it. Oops. Oh, gotta find out what's going on with the OBSs. Oh, Jackie wants to talk now. What you want? Where is he? Stella, this boat is bonkers. It's got so much shit. A kitchen, individual houses, but not for me. I'm not a patient, remember? A mother blasting cow. And even a garden. What kind of boat has a garden? Even with real dirt. Where did you get the dirt? This is some kind of refuse, is it? Oh, Stella. Do you, do you grow your vegetables in our poop? What? I don't know how that shit works. Do I look like a farmer? Isn't dirt like poop and half-eaten worms? Anyway, I'm told you I could help around the boat. And the field has given me a genius idea. Follow me, all right? Wait, what? I thought you were going to go down to the field. Wait, what? Follow me, and he goes and passes out. Motherfucker. He just goes to sleep wherever he wants. Head that way. Actually, let's, can I do an upgrade? That place isn't now. Nope. Loot these. Oh, right. Ever door. All the cows and sheep are all in admirable, respected attention. Are you coming, Bev? You don't even know who she is. You remember, remember those flowers? I can't, I think it's time, time for me to admit it. I can't go on any longer. You know where we need to go, neighbor? Thank you. Here we go. Did I just leave without her? Oh, thank God. Because <laughs> it would have sent me to the Everdor. I, I know. I remember. You? The neighborhood? Oh. We... We were there with the... the flowers. Oh. We were there in that... that building almost next door. You and me. We were... We were neighbors. I think she's supposed to be like, slowly fading out. <laughs> she's barely sticking her head above the... the, the boat. Ah. 
you were always there. There. There for me, Stella. Goodbye, sweet pea. Oh, uh, it's still sad. Little bird. Pretty much all of them had like a, a face on constellation, but hers is a little side profile. You yeah, best stop being so creepy, Francis. Oh, right. They leave flowers. What happened to... Did I not get a flower for Daria? Do I have to go back to Overbrook? I forgot about that. I might have to go get... Or maybe it's... Because it didn't mark on my... My boat. Maybe it is in the Overbrook. Interesting. Oops. Let's see, shall we? I'm assuming... I'm assuming she might behave differently because she didn't have a house on the boat? Not sure. Also, I'm not used to it being so, so bright over there. Where are you at now? In here still? <laughs> Sit right next to him. I wonder if that thumping bumping is what Buck was talking about was him was Jackie coming aboard all right let's see if a flower is here I doubt it but we're gonna check and then we're gonna end stream because the lag is driving me insane there is a flower holy crap Amazing. Oh, look at her pretty flowers. Oh, I should have just pushed it. Just a second longer. Okay, Francis, what do you want, buddy? Got anything cool for me? Doesn't look like it. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. All right, my friends. This is where I'm going to call it. I also left this running all night. So 
want to make sure not to do that tonight well thank you guys so much for hanging out with me uh hope you guys are enjoying it um i'm loving this game although now that we're stuck with jackie uh, i'm gonna see all that plays out and that means oh that means all of tomorrow is gonna be jackie so we're gonna have to figure that out i thought i was gonna be done today and be able to start playing a zoo but apparently not but i appreciate you guys hanging out with me um i hope you guys are enjoying it uh remember to spay new to your pets adopt a shop donate to risk if you can afford it or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering that is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need anyways i'm basic i appreciate you guys hanging out with me i uh, hope you guys are enjoying it obs just all of a sudden popped up to 60 frames per second no idea what's going on but i'm gonna look into that thank you guys so much for hanging out with me let and let me be your streamer tonight. Heavily appreciate it. I'm Vasive, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya. Yeah, yeah, you hungry? Come on. Let's go. Let's go to the foodies. <laughs>